Here we are in the design lab at New York Fashion Week. Our focus is on fall 2016. We have the most incredible team working on trippy, creative, over-the-top artistry. After all these years, we are still all mad here. I'm doing a royal flush. So it's the 10, the jack. Oh, God, I've got them in the wrong order. So they're just suggestions, they're abstract suggestions of the cards. That's the opportunity that CND gives you in the design lab, is to, you know, just bend all the rules of it and, and go out there and really, really explore. It's an adventure. Working here at Fashion Week, it's always a challenge to find ways to create new looks, new designs, always upping the ante. I was able to actually kind of come up with a new technique using CND Final X Weekly Polish and stamping plates and using them to kind of create mosaic tile nails by taking different pieces of those patterns and really bringing them all together to create a kind of a cohesive look. I think the best thing that I learned here that I can take home and apply in my salon is the casting of a mold to create your own handmade gems versus buying store-bought resin, whether it be rose quartz or turquoise or even uh, lapis lazuli, to use our additives and pigments to create these gems. It's just a really fun technique. I have learned how to make customize my own colored acrylics using additives which I didn't know was possible before. For example, I am working on tropical flowers and to achieve a brighter look, I add a hot pink to a yellow to make a bright orange. Normally, I would use white acrylic and I would paint it using gel polish or regular polish, acrylic paints, but now with this technique, it makes it a lot easier and I can get it done more efficiently. I love it. I think it's absolutely fabulous and basically changed my life. The difference between what I do in the salon and what we do here in New York, that translated for me into taking off any framework boundaries I had created for myself in the salon so that we could give better ideas to nail pros so that they can see. We're, we're giving them everything that we learn here. Every tip and trick will start to translate, but we try to do it in a way that's accessible for them every single time. My best advice was in when you feel stuck in a rut creatively, give it a few minutes <laughs> and then walk away from it. Do you know what? I think the biggest thing for me personally is not to take everything so literal. So here, what I'm creating is the Cheshire Cat, but it doesn't necessarily obviously look like a cat. You can take things and be more abstract um, and it can still tell the story without being completely literal. When I got uh, the assignment to do the chandelier nail, all I had for inspiration was just a picture of a chandelier. I wanted something to dangle off it, but I wasn't quite sure how I will be able to put it together in the time that we have. Picking the right material to do the right job, it's quite, it requires quite a good skill. I would say that art is like an evolution. There's something really beautiful about the night sky that's always drawn me in, looking at a star. And instead of making that literal, we can make it girly and feel a little um, more precious or dainty, adding the pink and the sparkle and the glitz to make it, it evoke a shooting star versus actually painting a physical shooting star. Weeks and weeks of work, hundreds of hours, the runway will never be the same. We're making the impossible totally possible.